What's up, 8th grade? Mr. Agnos here. In this video, I will be working on topic 2-2, solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. This is something new that you guys have not seen before. All right, it says use algebra tiles to find the value of x when the expression 7x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 15. Um, if you if you like using algebra tiles, go for it. I didn't learn that way. So I'm just going to focus on um, this underlying statement right here to find the value of x when this expression, 7x plus 3, equals this expression, 4x plus 15. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewrite this, except I'm going to replace the equals uh, word with the actual equals sign. So I have 7x plus 3 equals... 4x plus 15. Now, if you take a look at this equation I've written, it is fundamentally different than any other equation you guys have seen before because we have a variable on the left side of the equal sign and we have a variable on the right side of the equal sign. And remember, when we're trying to solve an equation, we're trying to do what's called isolate the variable. We're trying to get it by itself. So ultimately, I want to end up with x equals something, some number, some value. So in order to get from here to here, I'm going to have to get rid of the variable from one side of the equal side. <clears throat> now, a really common mistake is that students think they can combine like terms here. Well, I, I have a 7x here and I have a 4x here, so I must have 11x's. <clears throat> Excuse me. That only works if the 7x and the 4x were on the same side. They're both on the left or both on the right. You cannot combine like terms across an equal sign. It's like there's a wall there. So the only way I can, I can get rid of things from one side or the other is by adding or subtracting. So I know I have to get rid of um, x from one side. So I notice that, hey, this 4x is smaller than this 7x. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4x from both sides of my equation. Okay, and remember, we only subtract x's from x's. So on the left-hand side, I have 7x minus 4x. Well, that's just 3x. I still have my plus 3. And that's going to equal, well, these cancel, right? If I have 4x's and I take away 4x's, I have no x's. So um, you don't write 0x. You're just going to leave that blank. And I bring down the 15. So look at what happened. I no longer have any x's on the right-hand side of my equation. So I'm one step closer to this end goal here. And this should look really familiar to you. This is a two-step equation, and we've spent the past couple weeks um, solving two-step equations. So we know that the first step to solving a two-step equation is to get rid of the number without the variable, right, by adding or subtracting. So I want to get rid of this positive 3, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Um, I still have 3x, nothing happened to that. These are additive inverses, so they cancel, equals 15 minus 3 is 12. All right. This is a one-step equation, right? It's one step because there's only one operation. We're multiplying. So hopefully you can see that we started off with something complicated, and with each step, our equation gets less and less complicated. It gets simpler. Simpler. All right, since I'm multiplying by 3, I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. If I multiply and divide by the same number, they cancel, and I'm left with just my x right here. 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, <clears throat> your paper should look exactly like mine. Okay, so make sure you're setting it up this way. Make sure you're doing the operations okay. on both sides of the equation. So I go over here, the value of x is 4. Yeah. Got it. Okay. This was actually a pretty simple one. These can get these can get really messy. So don't worry, we're going to spend a, a few days working on these types of equations. So let's take a look at another problem that might have a, an extra layer of difficulty. Okay, find the value of x when 6 minus 4x is equal to 6x minus 8x plus 2. All right, this one definitely looks a little more complicated. 
All right, remember the first step is always to rewrite the equation. So in your notebook or on your scratch paper, you should rewrite the equation. All right, not only do we have x's on both sides of the equal sign, but on the right-hand side, I have two x terms. I have a 6x minus 8x. So our first step in this situation is we have to combine like terms. So I'm going to, do, uh, I'm going to leave the left-hand side alone. I did nothing to it. It's just going to wait. Equals. All right, 6x minus 8x. If I have 6x's and I take away 8x's, that leaves me with negative 2x's. Right? I know this looks weird to you guys, but we can absolutely have um, negative numbers. Right? That's why we have negative numbers, is when we subtract a bigger number from a smaller. So I get negative 2x plus 2. All right, now I have a situation where um, it's starting to look more like the, the previous problem, where, okay, I have an x term on this side and I have an x term on this side, but they're both negative. Well, remember, to get rid of a negative, I have to add. All right? So the question is, well, do I add 2x or do I add 4x? Um, you could do either. Either one will work eventually. I think the better option is to add 4x to both sides because this will cancel on the left and I'll end up with a positive number on the right. So I'm going to add 4x on the left. I'm going to add 4x on the right. Okay, on the left-hand side, nothing happened to my 6, and minus 4x plus 4x, um, those are going to cancel. So I have 6 equals negative 2x plus 4x. Well, negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So I have positive 2, but we're talking about x's, and then I still have plus 2. So look what happened here. We no longer have a variable on the left-hand side, and I'm... I now have a two-step equation, which hopefully you're getting a little more comfortable um, solving. All right, we always undo the addition or subtraction first. So I'm going to subtract 2, subtract 2. 6 minus 2 is 4 on the left. On the right-hand side, these cancel because they're additive inverses. And I have just 2x. Now we're down to a one-step equation. Since I'm multiplying my variable by 2, I'm going to divide by 2. And again, I have to do it on both sides. If I multiply and divide by the same number, they cancel. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Go ahead, and the value of x is 2. Let's see if we got it. Got it. Okay, so this problem had an extra step that the previous one didn't. Right here, we had to combine like terms. Now, sometimes you might have to do this on both sides. They may have a bunch of x terms over here, a bunch of x terms over here, and then you have to combine um, before you can start doing um, the adding and subtracting to get rid of things. So I think you can see pretty quickly how these can get kind of complicated. Now, don't, don't worry. This is the first day that you've done this. Um, we're going to spend several days on it. You're not supposed to be a master on the first day, right? By the, by the time we're done with this topic or this unit, then you're supposed to be pretty good at solving these. All right, I'm going to go over one more in this video. And I think it adds another layer of complexity. <coughs> All right, this one looks really ugly. Um, 6 minus 6x is equal to 6x minus 9x minus 15. So this one's actually uh, similar to the previous one. Um, but we just got a lot of negatives going on here. So I'm going to I'm going to do this one. All right, first step, rewrite the problem. 6 minus 6x is equal to 6x minus 9x minus 15. Okay. So just like the previous problem, I noticed right away that I have like terms on the right-hand side. So I need to combine these before I can start working. So I'm going to leave my left-hand side alone. 6x minus 9x is negative 3x, right? 6 minus 9 is just negative 3, and we're talking about x's here. And then I still have my minus 15. Okay. Again, I have a variable term on the left and a variable term on the right, and they're both negative. 
So I could add 3x to both sides, or I could add 6x to both sides. That's going to get rid of the variable from one side. But the question is, well, which one should I do? I'm going to go with adding 6x to both sides. It'll get rid of it on this side, and then we'll have a positive x term on this side. So I'm going to add 6x on the left, and I'm going to add 6x on the right. These are going to cancel because they're additive inverses, and I'm left with just 6 is equal to negative 3x plus 6x is a positive 3x minus 15. All right, now we're down to a two-step equation. And again, hopefully once you get to here, you're feeling, you, you get a little sigh of relief. Like, okay, home stretch. We want to get rid, undo the addition or subtraction first. So I'm going to add 15 this time because I'm subtracting. Now I'm going to add. I'll add 15 over here. On the left, we get 21 is equal to, nothing happened to my 3x, and these are additive inverses, so they cancel. Now we're down to a one-step equation. So since I'm multiplying by 3, the last step would be to divide by 3. If I multiply and divide by the same thing, they cancel, and I get x is equal to 7. Over here, I type in 7. Got it. Okay, uh, sometimes it makes me fuzzy like this. I'll try one time to make it unfuzz. There we go. Okay, um, these, these are challenging, okay? And again, you're not supposed to be uh, perfect the first time through. This is practice. You know, a coach or a, a music teacher shows you something new, you know, a new piece of music. You don't play it perfectly the first time. You make all kinds of mistakes. And then as you practice, you get better and better. Same thing here. You're going to struggle with these. Please, please, please ask questions during class, even if it's just typing it in the chat. Um, because the more of these types of problems you you do, the better you'll get at solving them. Um, <clears throat> where we go from here is we're actually going to look at situations where we're going to write the equation with variables on both sides and then solve it. So that's that's where this is headed. Okay, uh, hit me up in the comments, uh, send me an email, um, or ask me questions in class. Thanks, guys.